Oh man, you broke my jaw! Well now it matches your marriage. If you show my wife those pictures, I'm dead meat! You'll ruin my life, please! Sure, the gun didn't work. So why not shed some tears? I wasn't gonna use it, man. I've never shot a fly. And I'm no two-timer, either. It only happened once, for God's sake! I'm just her bodyguard, that's all. She seduced me! I love my wife, honest to God! I, I even quit the damn job for her! You can't break up a family for one tiny mistake! Breaking up your family? I don't think you need my help there, buddy. Okay, how about this? You give me those pictures, and tell her a white lie, and I pay you ten times what she's offering. You save my family, and you make a pretty penny. What do you say? Deal? For as long as I could remember, I had collected nothing more than bad gigs, debt, and sorrow. My self-respect and bank account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. While I hated his offer, it could certainly help me start anew. Run some ads in the papers, get better clients. All right. I'll tell your wife you're clean. Get the hell out of here before I regret it, pal. Three. Thank God. Two. Put that money to good use. One. You won't regret helping out Eugene Colbert. I promise you that. My uninvited guest had left me several gifts. First of all, a swollen hand. That guy's skin was hard as a rock. Second of all, more money than I deserved. Third, the feeling that my moral compass wasn't quite as calibrated as I thought. There was more than money at stake. The man seemed honest. The best I could do for his wife was to hide the truth, no matter how low it made me feel. All right. I'll tell your wife you're clean. Get the hell out of here before I regret it, pal. Three. Thank God. Two. You're a good man, Blackside. One. You won't regret helping out Eugene Colbert. I promise you that. My uninvited guest had left me several gifts. First of all, a massive headache. That guy's skin was hard as a rock. Second of all, an empty wallet. Business as usual. Third, I was starting to second guess the morality of my last choice. Account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. You're only making things worse. You better leave before I lose it. Look, partner, I've been asking about you. You're a good detective, but I know you've seen better days. You've had nothing but crappy cases lately, like this one. I'm offering you a way out. Money can go a long way, you know. You could try running some ads. Maybe you'll find better clients and well paid gigs. You know, start all over. Come on, think about it. You can save my family, and save yourself. I warned you. Aren't you even gonna consider it, you piece of... Okay, now I'm officially about to lose my cool. Three. You son of a... Two. Wait, man, don't shoot! One. You are gonna regret messing with Eugene Colbert. I swear to God you will. My uninvited guest had left me several gifts. First of all, a swollen hand. That guy's skin was hard as a rock. Second of all, an empty wallet. Business as usual. Third, the feeling that my silence had been far too revealing. Third, the feeling that my moral compass was far too calibrated for my own good.
Hello? Blake's out here. Please don't tell me. My husband... You have nothing to worry about, Mrs. Colbert. Do me a favor and enjoy your family. Weekly speaking, the legend of what's news. Hey, Weekly, this is... John, did you get my pictures? Yes, and... That rhinoceros has one big horn, huh? Uh... And the girl, hot <laughs> damn! You want me to find out her name? Please, pretty please. No, Weekly, look. The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow, are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sad. Half the money is yours. Yeehaw! Yes, Mrs. Colbert. I'm afraid you were right to hire me. Oh! That filthy good for nothing! I'm gonna rip his horn out! Um, I think I need to investigate a bit more, if that's okay. I'll keep you posted, Mrs. Colbert. The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sad. Your boy Black Sad didn't take the money. What? Listen, Weekly. Yeah, I know. It wasn't the right thing to do. Yada, yada, yada. Well, well, well. Long time no see. <sighs> my wife just called me. I owe you one. Now leave before my partner. Oh, how the tables turn. You help me, so I'll help you. Now leave before my partner. I want you to yell like I'm beating the crap out of you, okay? I'll change your mind about what to tell my wife now that my partner is asleep. This'll help you change your mind. You lied to me. You ruined my life. But trust me, you'll pay for this. Now that my partner is asleep. You actually did it. You ruined my life. But trust me, you'll pay for this. Now that my partner is asleep. You'll be sorry for what you did to me, pal. This is my wife, Jerry. You're... I'll be damned. You didn't even say you were married. Well, future wife. Between you and me, I knew you'd settle down eventually. Just you wait. You'll even quit smoking with this one. All right, let her in. But don't do anything naughty. So now we're married. Would you like that? Don't play with me, Mr. Blacksad. Not in a million years, Miss Dunn. You sure know how to treat a lady, Mr. Blacksad. I didn't want to interrupt you because I respect you and your word. Colbert told me to come here. What? Me? No way! You did what? Colbert? When? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> yeah, remember? At that bar on 33rd and Main Street. Don't you remember that cocky drunk guy? Uh, no. He kept bragging about how he was banging another guy's wife. Oh? Oh, yeah. Weird times, huh? Yeah. And you congratulated me for finding Yale and saving your life. Several times! Then I asked you if O'Leary would thank me somehow. And I thought it was a very reasonable assumption. And then you told me to come here to ask the boss himself. Yeah, I think you deserve it. Right, Desmond? 
Oh, black sad, black sad, black sad. Thank you. First, you get a random beating from Wilson. And now this. Although you have to admit I had my reasons to be suspicious, you ran away from Yale's apartment, didn't you? Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Black, sir. Huh? Oh, Mrs. Colbert. My husband woke me up this morning with roses and breakfast in bed. He said he had a scare last night, although he won't give me any details, and that he's been thinking about me ever since. He wants to take me to Niagara Falls for a second honeymoon. <laughs> That's nice, but I don't know why you're thanking me. Are you kidding? Remember how I doubted him, but you made me change my mind? If he had suggested to take me to Niagara Falls when I still suspected him, I would have thought it was just a cover. Or worse still, a way to clean his conscience. Well, I only did my job as honestly as I could. Enjoy your marriage. I hope you and your husband are happy. That's precisely what happened, Mrs. Colbert. Your husband cheated on you. Maybe he put an end to it. I don't know, and I don't care. But I have proof if you need it. Mrs. Colbert? That good for nothing! I'm gonna scratch his eyes out! I'll tear his stupid head off! I'm gonna make him regret! I didn't want to interrupt you because I respect you and your word. But I'm actually here to help. Your wife is having an affair with Colbert. What? Me? No way! <laughs> well, here's the thing. I don't respect your word. And since you brought me no proof... Check my coat pocket on the right. <laughs> oh, black sad, black sad, black sad. <laughs> ah! Oops. Oh. Thank you very much. And sorry for jumping to conclusions. First, you get a random beating from my men. And here we are. When you shared what you'd found in Yale's apartment, well, it made me sort of want to trust you. Aren't these odd hours to pay me a visit? The message was important, but certainly not urgent. It could have waited until tomorrow, don't you think? You better ask your wife that. She tossed the cigarette in your face? <laughs> You're such a loser! My husband has disappeared. What? Who is... Oh, Mrs. Colbert. But last night he got a phone call. He said he had to work. And he still hasn't come back. Nobody's seen him at work since yesterday evening. Plus, I haven't heard from you since our first conversation. Do you have anything? I don't know how to put this, but your husband is dead. You must know who he worked for and what he did for a living. This was bound to happen. Mrs. Colbert? Your husband ran away with his lover. Somewhere far. Farther than you can imagine. I'd forget him if I were you. It's time to... What? Why didn't you tell me before? 
I know. I should have said something. I'm afraid I can't hide the truth. Mrs. Colbert? I wouldn't worry too much. It hasn't even been 24 hours. Not even the police take these matters seriously until it's been at least 48 hours. I don't know. He'll be back. I promise. Mrs. Colbert? That good for nothing. I'm gonna scratch his eyes out. I'll tear his stupid head off. I'm gonna make him regret. I'm sorry, Mrs. Colbert. I'm not on the case anymore. You'll have to figure this one out on your own. I read it out a two-timer, and now he's dead. He told the husband and he restored her honor, right? Something like that. Well then, what's the problem, son? You did the right thing and that pig got what he was in for. Listen here, you're gonna get your reward, son, from our Lord Jesus in this here bottle. One of the tricks of this trade is to be wary of the biases we all have. This is Elaine Colbert. I'm calling to cancel our agreement. Okay. My husband woke me up this morning with roses and breakfast in bed. He said he had a scare last night, although he won't give me any details, and that he's been thinking about me ever since. He wants to take me to Niagara Falls for a second honeymoon. <laughs> See? The case resolved itself. My husband isn't cheating on me. And what have you done? Nothing. You haven't even called me once since I hired you. No fee to you, Mr. Blacksad. You won't see a single penny. You hear me? Huh? I shouldn't have even called you. I heard you. Just like the judge will, no doubt. See you in court. Wait, what? You're absolutely right. I don't deserve your money. I hope you have a happy marriage. Like it's your business. Your husband cheated on you. Maybe he put an end to it. I don't know. And I don't care. But I have proof if you need it. Mrs. Colbert? <laughs>